Creative Learning Through the Arts is the most ambitious program imaginable. It intends to change the whole learning culture of our schools. And it's going to do that by putting creativity at the centre of learning. The old model of learning and teaching is not going to create the learners that we need for the future. We need different kinds of learners. And Creative Learning Through the Arts is all about developing those it's crucial to us that we increase access to the arts across the whole of society. And creative learning through the arts is crucial for that uh, because schools are wonderful places to reach the full range of people in society. Learners are working alongside top class creative professionals. And the key things about the artists that we have is that they're encouraged to be artists because it's only by being truly creative that they can have the impact that we need and want to have in the programme. Another way in which we increase access is through our programme called Experiencing the Arts, where schools can get up to a thousand pounds, 90% of their costs, of taking their learners out to projects in the arts. And so if you come from a background where you can't afford those tickets, then this allows the school to take the students and they can see these extraordinary artistic experiences. Now, creative collaborations, believe it or not, can be funded up to £25,000 a project, which is extraordinary. I saw an amazing example where National Theatre Wales went and worked with the Ocean Park Academy and the immersive theatre piece that they created around their normal building was amazing. So that kind of creative collaboration is a major access to the arts uh, for those who participate. Crucial to the success of creative learning through the arts are the four regional arts and education networks and the four corners of the Welsh map. The first thing they do is encourage people to network, to network with other schools in this project of building creative learning, but also to network with arts and culture and creative industries organizations. Creative learning through the arts isn't all about the expressive arts in schools. It's about the way we learn creatively across the curriculum. You could have algorithms in maths being taught by a dance group. And so these arts and education networks are doing incredible work. So we're seeing terrific impact across the four corners of Wales. The new curriculum in Wales, which came out of the Successful Futures Review, is very ambitious. And Creative Learning Through the Arts has been the pioneering way of developing that approach. We want to have young people who are enterprising and creative contributors in society. Uh, I saw a story the other day about a school, Brindiva, in Connors Quay in North East Wales. Some year five boys who needed their literacy, their writing and reading skills building up. And they worked with some heritage and historian experts from outside the school. They built a boat, a ship, in the form of a dragon. When they came to write about it, the impact was dramatic and the Estin uh, report on it said that it had been dramatic. We are seeing that the groups in which we intervene, the groups that we teach and get to learn in this new way, their attainment is shooting up and that's fantastic news for the future in Wales.